Hello once again, this is me, Al, continuing, ever continuing on with the post-Christmas bonanza of uh, entertaining programming videos. <clears throat> the entertainment largely comes from these photographs. This one, in fact, uh, is not a, obviously not a real person, uh, and it's uh, was designed on by some person and rendered using I don't know what software, some kind of software. Actually, I I put the original in an easy to locate place here, and it's quite interesting to look at the. I think I have the. I think I mentioned this in another video. But if you didn't see it, you might find it's quite interesting. Uh, first, note the size. Its uh, width is 5,760 and its height 3,840 pixels. Okay, so you know my screen, my my width is only 1,300 pixels. So you know, not five, but nearly five times as. Why is my screen and much much higher? My 768. Oh, that difference is anyway. But the, what what is interesting is that if since it's so big, um, it has a lot of detail. Like you can zoom in like crazy with it. But oddly, and I don't know. If it's uh, because of the format of the image, but you'll notice, you see, th th all these, this, all these things, right, are usually, uh, well, usually indicate um, uh, some kind of an artifact to do with the compression the e extra little bits here but I don't think that's what it is um, it turns out that uh, and see at this distance it looks fine but if, if I run, run this no noise removal on this image, but that's supposed to take out whatever whatever the program considers noise, and I'm not sure how it makes that determination. But you'll see that instead of losing detail, it, it appears like the image gains higher detail than it started out with, and that makes me wonder if, if these images. Well, this compression strategy is not the usual kind. And so, so this program, by running this noise removal, uh, is is going to come back with an, with what the image was supposed to look like in the first place. <clears throat> see, now I'm zooming in here, and you can see. The incredible detail at this level of the eye, for instance, you can see these blood vessels, right, in individually, and here and here, and and these sort of wrinkle things, you know. That's not an accident. Some somebody put this in. On purpose to try and make it, uh, I don't know, more realistic. <laughs> it doesn't look realistic at all, but uh, may maybe this person is particularly in interested in, in how skin aging occurs or something, you know. I want to add some wrinkles and then some. So she has some, some wrinkles, some age wrinkle, wrinkling. But at this distance, it's fine. 
uh, you know, the individual hairs are quite are evident. That's not a, you know, I'm going to look at this bit of hair. And you can see individual strands. I don't know. I don't know how these are generated, but I have the feeling that um, it's a they're not saved in the usual JPEG format. <clears throat> anyway, that aside, uh, as you will have found out by now, uh, I'm starting a new section, and the re the reason that section came up. Well, the reason the idea of making this section came up uh, had to do with uh, this little program here. And what we're doing at the time, when you view this, I, I don't know where, where you'll be, but at the current date, the current date, that's December 27th, 2013, we're working on a little editor program. And one of the bits of the program uh, the editor uh, is, a, is a class that's provided by Windows called Edit, and using that class to do things. Um, the program is called Notepad Cubed. Um, and uh, so I, I I invented this. I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna go through this one actually, but the, uh, um, uh, the next one maybe will be on this. It doesn't these aren't gonna appear in any time order just just as they come up. We're working on this TS edit, and I, and I said uh, that I stole all the code from uh, <coughs> MFC or well, borrowed. Sorry. I borrowed the MFC code and fixed it up to make it work with my thing, what I have. And then, um, and, and then I mentioned uh, that I do that uh, quite often, and, uh, but it, you know it's too late; it's already been done. I did it, you know, I didn't make a tutorial about about that convert the creation of this object. Then, then I notice this problem. You see this, but this list, right, is uh, sometimes it gets a little bit wide. If the, if the file name, if, if one of the, if any one of those file names happens to be really long, I just happen to open this, right. Uh, Using using this thing, I love this program. I, I go here first, and then instead of using Explorer, because I find it easier to navigate the little open dialog. You see, now I would go. I would normally just go and delete that bit. I just wanted to look once. Uh, now, I thought, okay, so there must be. I mean, this is ridicu ridiculous. I don't want this, right? And I don't want to write a function that compacts file names because I know, I know, for instance, from this, you get it out. You know, I made this dia this dialog, right? Let me just go to a walk C. You'll, see, you'll you'll notice that it's uh, it didn't work in this case, but it it does some kind of attempt. And it does attempt in certain cases to con or maybe I have to specify it and, may, and I haven't. You can ask it to use these contracted file names. There, see. What it's done is it's um, it's given just enough information so that you can sort of see where you are. So I know that there must be a function out there that does that. 
and then I found it. The function that does that does those that compacting. Okay, well what, what's that got to do with this? Well, this this is call this a preamble because I, I, I still have to get to that actually doing it. Uh, I did something and it had to do with making a new control. So I thought I might as well um, I might as well record that process and I made some recordings in here. I just kept recording and recording and talking away as I was making that new thing and it ended up being a lot longer than I had anticipated and, and I made some wrong turns and you know I don't want to post all of this uh, but I, I should be able to grab little either grab little bits and pieces out of this or do it again and I'll remind you again that um, when these things come up I mean, as I make them you know uh, there's a lot of trial and error and, and mistakes along the way before it it's right. In fact, I discovered other mistakes to do with other things do, during this process. But anyway, the thing that I added was a uh, a spinner control. Okay, uh, where is it? Um, we're not in Notepad Cube. We're in Quick Lists. Uh, but not quick list in the options dialog, organize dialog. I made a new a new control called a spin a spin control, um, which is kind of like a button. So is this checkbox is also like very much like a button. And it's a standard control, and uh, so I can I, I wanted to go through. While I did it, caught, I caught, I found it, the MFC. I found the MFC version. Saw what they did. Copied it over, and I have a, <clears throat> you know, a spin control. Okay. Now it turns out that it's this spin control. Now, right now it's disabled because I'm not using compact paths. It's another thing that I found. But if I do, then I want this indicates the width, the maximum width I'm going to allow in the list. Okay, now if I hit cancel, nothing, nothing happens. It's still bad. But I have to accept that. If I do, now my list is, is like this. So, and then, and it's, the 45 seems to be for me enough. I know what all of these things are. Right, I can see Patsy Cool. Okay, I know that's Patsy Klein. Okay, I know what this one is, right? Holes. Yeah, rock music group. I know what this is. I know what all these things are. Now, I may not remember what this one was, uh, but uh, if I really. If, if I really want to know, I can turn it off again. See, but now it's compact now, and this is the form that I like. Or I can make it wider. Now there's more information. In fact, that's not a bad width. I don't mind that width. Uh, but the point is, uh, yeah. So this is just a preamble. I'm going to make another video. And I'm going to show you how I how, how I first decided I want to make a spin control thing uh, because I I've seen them before and I I, I knew it. I wanted some way to select a number uh, using those little up and down things and I know it's not hard to do. If you look at the resource. In fact, it turns out that it uh, I didn't really. You know, I only needed one function, two functions from this thing, and the rest is completely automatic. It's fantastic. Uh, that's it. It's all automatic. 
I, I'm trying to open this. It always takes a while. This here, uh, well, I'm going to go through this, but oh, actually, no, uh, no, it's better to say this now. Um, the way that these things work, if you want to use the auto mode, is uh, you, you from the toolbox you grab one of these what we call a spin control, okay, and then you also uh, grab an edit control and put them on your box, and uh, you, in, you you have to ensure that the tab order is correct. Well, I can show you the tab order. I don't want to edit, but I won't do it if I. The edit control, uh, which is known as the buddy of the spin control, has to have its number one less. So the edit is nine and the spinner is ten. Now, about the spinner and, and the buddy. The reason you don't have to do anything is because of the buddy. First, you set this thing called Auto Buddy. And that means that it automatically determines through which one, of, which window of these windows is its buddy, and that's the 910 bit. I don't have to have this, right? I could. The class has a, the ability to set. Yeah, I could set the buddy, but, but this is easier and then set buddy integer we set to true so that means that already this this thing is working okay <laughs> and that's all that's the that's all you gotta do to make one of these things is just get the tab order right and set the buddy thing or whatever and then all your job is to do is to um Set the range uh, of values for the that you want for the spinner, and you can set the speed and do various other things. <clears throat> and so the only two functions I needed were um, set range, and then in in the end, when, when somebody presses the OK button. Uh, you can uh, extract the current value by calling get pause. Pause is the means position. Uh, the reason it's called pause is because a spin control is, is similar to one of these types of things. In fact, this is essentially a spin control, a scroll bar. It is a type of scroll bar with an associated edit control. This is a scroll bar with an associated edit control and pause is the current position uh, not of the box, not of the, the, this thumb thing, but of the edit control. The current line if you like. However, uh, the pause, the palm, there's a base pause which is set by using the set range and end pause uh, so uh, in, in this case it returns well, the position of this thing is line 50 if you like if, but it won't go down below 20 I've, I've set arbitrarily okay so you can think of this as a little edit control that's on line 20 Right? And it goes up to size 100. So I should make that a bit wider. But whatever. 99. It's too wide anyway. 50 looks good. Oh, cancel. Okay. So that, uh, that's just a heads up. I'm gonna show, so I'm going to show you I'm gonna, what I'm going to do. Think. Let's just do it again because I went through that list of videos, and one of the things I, I discovered was 
well, A, I didn't need to do as much as I was doing, and then I found that there was a bug with um, something else, and so on and so forth. And there are several sub issues associated with it, but I don't want to go over those all at once. I just want to show you how to make one thing, add one control, and then worry about those other details in, the, in another reference type video. Okay, so just a reminder that uh, I want to do that first before going on with the rest of the editor thing uh, because of, because that's sort of, that's sort of on on top. We just added the editor, and now it won't be so mysterious. Um, what I'm going to do with that editor. The sorts of things I'm going to do, or can do, with the editor. Okay, see you. Oh, wait, well, well, you have another look. Well, it's quite beautiful, I think. Okay, see you.